Hello, everybody. I'm back. Hopefully this video goes well. Hopefully I don't get any interruptions and we can get on with our haul. So excuse the guitar case. And we have Lola here as our guest today. We always have one of my kitties in the videos. Oh, she's so cute. Um, I'm taking a break from work right now, as you can see with my computers. And I'm going to do an L3 haul. So this is a combination of a pre-order and an RTS. She combined it all together. I honestly didn't even think about that I had a pre-order and I saw a refund notice for like partial shipping. And then I was like, oh yeah. So it just worked out. Um, I don't think I'm going to end up filming that other big L3 haul that I had just because I'm kind of like over it and just want to get everything put away. So I don't think I'm going to film that. Sorry, but yeah. So here we have a pretty big box. It's a medium, a medium flat rate box. And again so for this um pre-order i really didn't get a lot i got one sampler and then i got two trig tarts that's literally all i got and then for the rts i got a good bit of things so first on top we have a spoonchilla i have so many of these but i love them they're awesome so i have a multi-colored one yeah i have like a whole bag of these I see a lollipop. This is in orange. Orange, yep. Let's see if I can find the samples before I start digging into everything. I do not see them. So you know what? Let's just, let's just get into it and um, we'll find them as we go. Okay. First and foremost, I'll let you know when we come across the pre-order stuff, but I guess it doesn't really matter, but this is um, RTS and I'll just let you know when I come across a pre-order item. Okay. So this is a uh, two bag of buns in vanilla birch, white birch, fresh balsam. So I'm really wanting to start getting into melting more Christmassy scents, which means like tree scents and woodsy, um, fireside, cinnamon type scents. I'm just really in the mood for it. I live in South Florida. It's not cold whatsoever here, which is a bummer. I say it every year because I wish it were cold outside and then the scents would make me feel even better more into the holiday spirit, but unfortunately that's not the situation. So, um, yeah, but I'm kind of over like the pumpkin apple vibes right now. I've just done a lot of them. Um, I still like apple in like the holiday time, but not like pumpkin apple. I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, this is a birch and balsam scent. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, this honestly smells like a real Christmas tree. That birch is honestly adding like a little bit more like woodsiness to it. Like it's, it's, it's blends really well with the balsam and it's adding even more to that balsam scent and I really like that one a lot. I got a little scent shot here. Um, yeah, so this was a pre-order extra. I don't remember which pre-order this is from, but this is orange cranberry muffin. Oh, you know what this RTS was from? This was a sale that she was having. I think it was like 20% off site wide. So that's why I got this stuff. 
for the RTS. I just now remembered. Okay, so yeah. Orange cranberry muffin, pumpkin pecan waffles, brown sugar pound cake. I just thought that orange cranberry muffin w sounded different. It's something I don't typically get. Oh my gosh, that pumpkin pecan waffle with the brown sugar pound cake is so good. I get a little bit of the orange cranberry. Wow. I always forget how good her pumpkin pecan waffles is. I obsess over it, then I get away from it, and I haven't smelt it in a while, so it's really, really good. And something small like this, well, I would cut this into three pieces, and I can do this upstairs in my bedroom because I have three warmers. Okay, so I got one of her little mummy heads. I love these. These are so cute, and they're a good bit of wax. So this is in Wood Smoke Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale. I don't think I've ever tried her wood smoke. I probably have, have it in my collection, but I've never like melted it before. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is giving me today's October 3rd vibes, but a little bit more woody. Like firewood, um, fireside maybe from that wood smoke. Oh my gosh, it's today's October 3rd with fireside like that is so good and it's like really good <laughs> okay here we have a trig tart this is from the pre-order and oh my god look at this it's so pretty oh my gosh and then on the front we have little santa heads oh this is so freaking cute Okay, this is Ugly Sweater Party, Sweater Weather, Vanilla Oak, and a hint of bourbon. So I do love sweater weather. And then I figured with Vanilla Oak and bourbon, that is interesting. This smells like floral to me. It does not smell like sweater weather to me. Is her sweater weather a dupe for Bath & Body Works? Cause it doesn't really smell like sweater weather to me. It's smelling very fresh, fresh and a little floral. I don't know why. I feel like I've smelled her sweater weather before and said the same thing. I don't know, but it's really cute nonetheless. Not, not the biggest fan in that one. Here's my second, my last, trick tart that I got um, uh, for the pre-order. Little snowman. And this is in grandma's house. A hot apple pie, chestnuts, brown sugar, sweet cream, sugared shortbread. I just love the hot apple pie scent. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's really bakery, obviously. I don't even get a lot of the hot apple pie. It's just like really, it's a really nice bakery scent. I don't even know how to explain it. Okay. Um, here we have another mummy head in cinnamon sticks, cranberry marmalade, and spiced plum. It sounded really nice. I like cinnamon a lot. Oh, this was open. Oh, yeah, that is so good. So you get the cinnamon, but you get that cranberry marmalade, which is so good. I love the cranberry marmalade from L3. It's like sweet. And that plum you get as well. It's of course cinnamon heavy, but you get the other scent notes. I really like that one a lot. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good in my downstairs. Okay, I got a puppy pack. They're all Christmassy scent. I mean, Christmas shapes. This is Vanilla Balsam Sugar Cookie Royale. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then this one's filled up. Oh yeah, this is so good. It's a toned down balsam because it's already Vanilla Balsam, but then you're adding that Sugar Cookie Royale, which is like a creamy, sweet cookie. 
very, very delicious. I like that one a lot. Hey, I got a little clamshell here in buttery gingerbread. I don't think I've smelled this by itself and I know it's super, super popular. I got it in a few blends, but I figured I'd get it alone. I love gingerbread scents. Yep, yeah, it smells like a buttery gingerbread. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get this out. Yep, buttery gingerbread. That's really good. So it's like a cinnamon gingerbread, but more like creamy, if that makes sense. I got a four pack of fluted tarts in Lord of Misrule Vanilla Sandalwood and Toasted Mallow. This is kind of just like a typical scent that I would get or a typical blend I would get. That's an all year round blend to me. Ooh, so I'm getting a lot of that toasted mallow. It's sweet. Oh, that's so good though. Yeah, this is just a typical blend for me. Um, it's not super resinous and you would think maybe with the Lord of Mist roll or the sandalwood. It's just, it's a really nice kind of neutral scent. I feel like this would be good if you have it, you're having guests over or if you're over the cinnamon and you're over the apple and you're over the pumpkin, this is just one of those scents that I feel like it's just such a nice, pretty scent. It's not feminine, it's not masculine, it's just a really good one. Unless you're really against, really against like sandalwood or something, but it's not like super strong. Okay, I got a Bitty Betty Loaf in Pumpkin Sugar Donuts, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Zucchini Bread. I know this is a super popular blend. I love this blend. I've definitely had it before. I've had blends like it, and it's just such a good one. Pumpkin Sugar Donuts isn't too cinnamon heavy. It's honestly like a sweet bakery cinnamon or like a cinnamon sugar with that pumpkin. And then the zucchini bread, L3 zucchini bread is so good. It's savory, it's sweet, it's, oh my gosh, it's just so good. And then her sugar cookie royale is the best, like it just is. It's just a very decadent vanilla, heavy vanilla cookie. This is so stinking good, so good. Now this is like a year round scent to me, um, even though it says pumpkin, it's not like heavy on pumpkin. It's just blended so perfectly, and this is a year-round one for me. Okay, um, I have two scoops, and then we can go through my um, sample. I mean, my um, sampler really quick. I did not get samples this time. Kind of weird and the only reason why I'm saying that is because I always get samples with all three so it's just a little odd but it's okay because guess what I don't need any more wax okay so first scoop we have I love the color this is like a cranberry pretty pinkish color this is fra gilet it's frosted juniper and cranberry so typically I would not get something like this but for some reason I wanted to. Frosted juniper and cranberry. I saw someone talking about it, I think, on the Facebook page. Ooh, so I love her cranberry. Oh my gosh, what does juniper smell like? Oh, it's really fresh. Like it's a fresh, pretty cranberry. This is gonna be so good when I don't want tree or something heavy. This is gonna be really good. Or I could even mix this in with some tree and this would be really awesome. Like with some balsam or maybe with like a little bit of cinnamon, like an alternating warmer, cinnamon, this, cinnamon, this, you know. And then I got one more scoop. This is just like a cream color. In vanilla balsam, cinnamon, sugar, mallow, fireside. Yum, right up my alley right now. This is the type of scent that I'm kind of craving is like a tree, cinnamon, sugar, mallow fireside. Some have these and some don't. No, I don't know. Oh my God. 
Oh, it's so good. Vanilla balsam is really good if you don't like a super heavy balsam. Oh my gosh, this is the most perfect blend for me right now. So good, obsessed. Okay, and here we go. So I, during the pre-order, I ended up getting the pine cone sampler. I don't even know what her pine cone smells like, but it just sounded like something that I was really gonna like. I haven't bought a sample from her since like this time last year, or maybe it was two years ago. I haven't bought a sampler in a very long time. Okay, so the first one we have here is Bonfire Bliss, Palo Santo, and Roasted Pine Cones. Also, I do look at like the, the blends that she's putting in each sampler, and I kind of narrow them down to like, oh, I don't like three or four of those from a sampler, then I won't get it. But this one, they all sounded good to me. So I don't really know what her pine cone oil smells like. Oh, yep. So good. It's just very like smoky, woody. I think I like it. Roasted pine cones, velvet sugar, and warm vanilla sugar. This one kind of was like, eh, but. That's really pretty. Like this is a scent that I would do in my bedroom. Yeah, that velvet sugar is adding like a very pretty, almost a little bit body care, but in a good way. It's really nice. That's really nice. And it's a very cute color. Okay. White Woods Roasted Pine Cones Patchouli. That sounded so good to me. coffee in this. <laughs> it might be the patchouli. Yeah. I get on, I get coffee. I don't know why, but it's all good. Um, Buttermints, cupcakes at Tiffany's, roasted pine cones. It's just going to be like a bakery. It's interesting. I get the mint and the cupcakes at Tiffany's. I don't really get pine cone, but it smells good. Cinnamon sticks, toasted malo, roasted pine cones. Yeah. Cinnamon heavy. Again, I'm not really getting the vibe for roasted pine cones. I don't really know what I'm looking for. Pie Crust Vanilla Bee Noel Roasted Pine Cones. I might get it in this one, so let's see. It's just kind of like a little woodsy. Yeah, like a little woodsiness. Pumpkin peanut brittle roasted pine cones. That's good. Yeah, it just kind of adds like a woodsiness. I don't really know how to explain it. I'm such a horrible person at explaining things. And lastly, we have roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla, cashmere cedar. I bet this one's gonna be good. Yep. The cashmere cedar adds a little bit of like a body care, like a vanilla body care, a little bit of woodsiness. Yeah, that one's really good. So the sampler is not too shabby. I'm, I know I'm going to enjoy it, um, but I really liked some of the RTS stuff that I got. I really liked the vanilla birch, white birch, fresh, fresh balsam. Um, uh, two pack of buns. I really liked the mummy face of the cinnamon sticks, cranberry marmalade, and spice plum. That was delicious. 
I really liked the scoop of vanilla balsam, cinnamon sugar, and mallow fireside. And um, the mummy face of the wood smoke, palo santo, and sugar cookie rail. I think wood smoke's gonna be one of my new things that I get blends in. Um, I see someone on the L3 page that is always requesting wood smoke. And um, I think her name's Olivia. We have like very similar taste in wax. And everything she requests, I'm like, oh my gosh, that sounds so good. And I love wood smoke. So there we have it. Um, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I should be on soon with some sort of video. I don't really know when or with what, but I got to get back to work. I hope you guys are having a great week. Tomorrow's Friday and yeah. So I will see you guys in my next video.